Hello, and welcome to this episode of Create a Life You Love, a very special Christmas episode, or holiday episode, I'd like to say. During this episode, we are going to be helping you make the perfect signature drink for your holiday celebrations, whether it be Hanukkah, Christmas, New Year's Eve, or any other celebration that you're having this season, Jennifer Heinen, my very special guest and co-owner of The Bottles, and I are going to teach you how to make, hopefully, five signature drinks that will be the envy of every party and having your guests ask, can I get that recipe? Now, I don't know how to make drinks. I know how to drink drinks. You do. <laughs> I do. But I can't drink much, to be perfectly well, honest. that's why I'm here to help. <laughs> yes, yeah. she's here to help. She's going to tell me what to do, make sure I do it right, and hopefully by the end of this show, you will have five new drinks in your recipe drink thingy that you have for recipe drinks. Okay, enough about that. Jen? What's hello. The, hello. What's the first drink we're going to make today? We are going to do a couple of martinis. Okay. So it's not your typical martini. They're going to be very festive, very creative. And the um, first one is, is a Rudolph teeny. We are going to start with a Rudolph teeny. And as you can see, here are the ingredients. You can copy all of this down. Yes, you can. Okay, we're going to get started now. I've never, ever made a martini before. Okay, well, we're going to do it. The, okay, so the base of the martini, we're going to be using vodka, a hazelnut liqueur, um, half and half, and then also a coconut rum. Awesome. So, But we're going to, like, get the martini glass going. So we're going to grab a martini glass. Martini glass grabbed. Grabbed. Gotcha. I have that part down. All right. I know how to grab a drinking glass. Now we're going to have to do the sh which shaker are you? We're going to start this With one. With this shaker. Yes. Okay. The two, one. two different style shakers here, so I want you to get possibly shake, comfortable shake, shake. using them. Shake your martini. Now you're going to put some ice in the shaker. Do I just... Okay, you do well, it first. We hid the ice. <laughs> we hid the ice. So it's okay that we hid the ice. <laughs> okay. I'll ice you up. She's going to ice me up for I love her. <laughs> She's going to do this trick where she magically reappears. <laughs> okay. So we have in our martini shaker so far. Ice. So you're going to use a measuring cup because I don't trust your pouring. <laughs> so we're going to do two ounces of vodka. I could do that. What, what's two ounces on here? What is <laughs> two ounces? It's the second line. Nobody likes a weak drink or a weak bartender, you No. And I just pour it like that? Yeah. Okay. It was a little bit more than two ounces. You well, can use alcohol to your flavor. One ounce of hazelnut. It's close to the two ounce mark, but I think that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> one ounce of a coconut rum of your choice. Do you want me to get those bottles out of your way? Okay, that might be one ounce. I'll hand it back okay. to you. Here, we'll clear your space because you're going to be you? you're going to be shaking stuff, and I just don't trust. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you. Okay, all right. Okay, do I need to measure yes. more in this? A little bit of the half and half. Mm -hmm. One ounce of half and half. I think I can free pour. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See, I did it. Oh, and now we're shaking. Yep. Are you going to make sure that this Do is Do we closed? sing and while we're shaking? Shake, shake, shake. F shake and not stirred. <laughs> shake and not stirred. Oh, you want to shake it and shake More? it till the shaker gets cold? Yeah. It's so cold. Yeah. Okay. Shake, shake, shake All right. in the martini. I don't know if that's good. Now you're going to read, take it out, switch it around, and try not to make a mess. Then you're going to strain it into the martini. Just like Let that? Let it flow. Yep. You're doing good. Okay. And you, I don't think your measurements <laughs> were that great, but. It's okay. Okay. Now we're going to garnish. Okay. Okay. So since it's a Rudolph teeny, we're going to be using some cinnamon sticks for the antlers. This is a really big antler. Do I do two? You can have two of them. Okay. There we go. Just two. lay them in there. 
Sure. And I'm a little OCD. They have to be well strategically placed. What am I a doing? A cherry for the nose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you to stab yourself or something. I don't know. Oh, that's so super cute. Okay. Do you see the Rudolphness in this, folks? There they are. Oh, Cheers. I bet they're delicious. I'll bet they are. Cheers. I'm going to just try it. Are you? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm not. No. But hey, you this should. Is, this yes. is the Rudolph yes. Teeny. See how quick and easy that was? And I'll bet it's delicious. It is delicious. I, have I know it before, is. But Did I'm you? On, awesome. Yeah, but I'm on the keto diet, so I'm trying not to. To have more of it. <laughs> so we'll put that Excellent. one off to the side. Now we're going to display it right over here for you. All right. Perfect. Oh, your antlers are off. Let's fix your antlers. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, let's move on to the fixing me. To fixing you? What's yes. the next one? Okay, the next one. Now, everyone likes a martini cosmopolitans. Yes. Sex in the City, cosmopolitans. Absolutely. Everyone knows it. But we're going to make a Santa cosmopolitan. And again. Are you ready? Here it is, the Santa Cosmopolitan uh, glass. Yeah, we're gonna rim. We're gonna rim the martini glasses. So you're gonna take a fresh lime. I don't think good girls do that. <laughs> Jeez. Rim the martini oh. glass. Rim glasses. Yeah. I don't think they. Okay, and then what do I do after I do this? We're gonna use the sugar. What do I do with the lime? Just set it back in there. We'll figure it out. Get a nice. It's a lot of lime on there. Get a nice white sugar rim on there for white Christmas. I don't think I'm capable of rimming this glass. You'll get to it. Here. Could you help me rim my glass? You just. Oh, Spin that is so there. smart. Okay, so if you're having trouble, just yeah. tilt the bowl. See? See? Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. See? Very good. You're okay. a professional rimmer. <gasps> okay, what's okay. next? <laughs> now we're going to use these shakers. And I'm going to ice you up again. Okay. Well, she's icing me up, I'd like to say. I've already learned a lot. I hope you have, too. See? Educational. Fun. Okay, right. we need one and a half ounces of vodka. Vodka. We need vodka again. Vodka. Where was the one ounce mark? <laughs> that line right there. The bottom line is yeah. one ounce. Oh, then the top line is two ounces. Yeah, I did yeah. not put enough last time. No, you did not. No, that's why my martini looks like I've already been drinking it. <laughs> I have not. The next ingredient is going to be one ounce of triple sec. Okay. It's the orange flavored liqueur. Triple sec me. <laughs> you do it. You do. You it. have to learn. The line is one. Yes. Not two. The line is one, folks. This line is one ounce. Okay. One. Okay. A little bit of roses lime. A little bit. Yeah. Just, just, just a splash. Half an ounce. Like that. Yeah. More, less, more. That's good. Less. That's good. And then some cranberry juice. Oh, so sorry. You're good. Cranberry juice is healthy, so technically this is a really healthy drink. How, how much? Just pour it in the shaker. Oh. Like that? Oh, a little mm. bit more. More? Yep. Like that? Yep. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm seeking approval <laughs> at every move here. All right. Now we're going to use a different shaker. Okay. So make sure you got that on. Everything is yeah. tight. Let's shake it. Shake it till it gets cold. It's very cold. These get cold very fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I want to drink so this cool. one. I so you should drink it. it. You're not driving. I am. Drink, Jen. Drink. Am See, I isn't a bad it pretty? Influence the red the with the white. Ah, I did it. Look. There you are. Ta-da! Right to the rim. And now you're going to want to put, garnish it with a lime. Okay. Thank you. And then we're going to use some fresh cranberries and just <gasps> kind of float them in the 
think like that. I love that. How cute. Who wouldn't love this as a holiday drink? I want one more in there. There we go. Okay. And again, cranberries are healthy. So this is a super, it's super healthy. healthy. It's skinny. It's a skinny <laughs> martini. It's not really, but. It's a super healthy martini because of all the cranberry and the lime. There we go. <laughs> so here is your, you should try this one. Oh, I think I might. Here is your Santa Claus Mapolitan. Isn't that beautiful? Can we drink on set? You can drink on set. How is it? Mm. It's good. <laughs> Great. We'll just set that one aside. <laughs> What's the next drink, John? All right. Focus. You, and you said you wanted to guess bartend at the bar. I don't know about that. I don't right. think that's your wisest choice for your bar. Okay. Um, next, we're oh, going to move on. You just can't to... take me any place. Is there cranberry <laughs> or sugar on my it's face? It's all on me. It's all on me. Okay. The next, we're going to move on to some <laughs> mimosas. Mimo oh, I'm yeah, really excited like about the mimosas. Day, New Year's Day, a lot of day drinking. So. <laughs> a lot of day drinking. Brunch drinking. Mimosas are amazing with early yes. meals. Yes. Okay. Now these are going to be quite different. So, um, let us grab. I just feel like there might be cranberry in my nose. <laughs> there really might be, but... <laughs> Fucking past it. Okay. Hey, let me put my shaker over there. So this one is Peppermint White Christmas. Oh, I like that. That sounds and good. And it's going to be with um, cream de cacao and champagne. Okay. So it's very different. A little bit of chocolate and champagne. But we're going to... Who doesn't like chocolate and champagne? Oh, my goodness gracious. You debated it, yes. Okay. All right, so I have here some creme de oh. cacao. So you want to dip the champagne glass in there. Okay, champagne glass. Yes. And then go right into the crushed peppermint. Okay, so we pre, Jen, pre-did all of this um, for us. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that Ooh. is so cute! Look at that! She crushed it. Yes. Okay, so be while Jen is rimming her glass, here are the ingredients. And the instructions for peppermint white Christmas mimosa. Yes. So, okay. So, so I put glasses. some candy canes, though. Put them in a Ziploc bag. Yes, because Jen, Jen. I started just rolling them <laughs> and without the zip. They, yeah. they were just all, all over, over the, the place. place. And I thought, yes. Yeah. It was kind of like put my them in a Ziploc bag, bag, crush them up. <laughs> and then they look beautiful yeah. on the glass. Isn't that pretty? And That's so pretty. In the bottom huh. of the glass, we're going to do third of the way full with the creme de cacao. Okay, a third. Mm -hmm. Always hold the bottle by the neck. You're holding it completely wrong, but that's like <laughs> <laughs> you did a reverse third. A third full, not a third empty. <laughs> Can I put some back in the bottle? Oh my God. <laughs> well, I was trying to focus on where I was supposed to be holding the bottle. You were correcting me while I was pouring, so I wasn't paying attention to how much. Is, is the glass half full or half empty? It's more okay. than half full <laughs> more than all that. the time. All right, a little champagne. Oh, my God. To something okay see this is going to be okay because we have will be. two varieties to try from <laughs> Ooh. there we go actually, do you want to try this one do you want to try this one no, or that no, one not yours <laughs> okay so this is a this is a peppermint white Christmas cheers, cheers. let me see oh look at uh, if you if you tink it some of it's the really candy. delicious. I should, you try, should really yours, try it. Yes. Yours, not mine. Yeah, definitely. It's really good, chocolate and champagne. Oh my gosh. It is this very is, good. This is like a one of those Pop peppermint candy. candies. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's like white white chocolate peppermint. It's very good. It is, it's very good. That is delicious. We'll save that for later. Okay. All right. How about I think we're moving. So so, if you're making... Did that one to you? <laughs> did. 
So if you want very intriguing special holiday drinks at your party, there are a lot of very good drinks out there. I think the mimosa did get to me. I, I think, think it was it the did. cranberry Rudolph thing. Oh boy. Even though I just inhaled such a little bit of it. Um, the idea behind these drinks are when you're serving them, you want to serve them with the appropriate appetizers or food. Yeah. Yes. I would say. Yes. 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 Okay. Do you know <laughs> foods to serve it with? Yes. Mimosas Any always food. with brunch. Any brunch food is a good mimosa food, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's why I thought these are appropriate for like New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have these at the bar. Awesome. Oh, okay. I need a glass. I need a champagne glass. Here's okay. a champagne glass. So. Okay, we're going to make the orange creamsicle mimosa. Okay. So this one we are going to put up. Here are the ingredients and here are the instructions. Last night, Jen and I were trying to type these up and, well, let's just say Jen had to do the prep for all of the show, <laughs> right down to wow. the typing. <laughs> of this. I just couldn't watch you try to copy and paste stuff for 20 minutes when I could have typed it in like three minutes. So yes, I understand. Yeah, it went fast. My typing skills are like my drink pouring skills. Uh, they're going to be better by the end of this. I think the segment. I You're think. not going to test me on anything. Are you? Mm, You're not going to like make no. me make any of these. Are you? I should make you remake one on your own and just see if you can do it at the end. Maybe that's what you'll have to do is remake one of them on my own. Yeah, maybe. But I really wasn't paying attention because I didn't think there would be a test. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. The orange creamsicle mimosa, which I am really excited about because I love creamsicles. Okay. I just love creamsicles. And I have made this. I have the heavy cream and the orange juice. But I have done it, if you can't do dairy, I have yeah. done it with almond milk Ooh. and like a vanilla almond milk and it's very good. So coconut milk too. Yeah. So you can make this. If you can't have dairy, you can still do a variation of it. I'll bet you it would be. And it be, works out well. I'll bet you it would be really awesome with chocolate almond milk too. I mean, I'm just saying. No, and the orange juice, not. no, it would not. No, it oh, would yeah. Crown, it still okay, has okay, to be. okay. Because there's orange juice. I forgot yeah. about the orange still juice aspect. It has to be aesthetically but there's, there's pleasing. There's chocolate, orange, orange and chocolate mixed together, so still no? I never like that. Okay. Do you like that? I don't know. I've, <laughs> I've never eaten that. Okay, drink. Oh. Drink. Yes. <laughs> and magically a glass just flew <laughs> across. The... Was that your mistake? <laughs> it was. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not put it fast. <laughs> Boom. Magic happening all over the place right Boom. now. Okay. Boom. Okay, next. Orange creamsicle mimosa. Yep. Yeah. Um, are we rimming glasses? We again? are going to. We're going to make it look pretty. Okay, pretty excellent. Far. So um, take an orange slice. I have enough in here so you, we can, like, kind of just. You want to get the glass, the rim of it, a little bit sticky. Okay. So the sugar sticks to it. And we're just going to reuse the white sugar that we did for the, awesome. for the Cosmo. Put that back in there. And then when we're done, can we eat the oranges? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. good. Okay, now I should know. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. That looks so sparkly and good. Dun, 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 dun. Eh, I think yours is prettier. Oh. Well, you're a pro. It should be. I'm going to okay. use this to mix the orange juice and mm -hmm. the heavy cream. But like I said, if you don't do dairy, you can, you can do a dairy substitute. Now, we're making enough in here for both or one at a time? Enough for both. Okay, good. Say one. Mm, Say that's one. good. That's good? Yep. Okay. I want to reuse the spoon, so I'm just going to be ready with that because it has cherry juice on it. You want to stir it out. Stir it till it's combined. This was the one I think I was most excited about. Yeah. I seriously, I, I, I love chocolate, but this is like a childhood treat. The creamsicle. Yeah. Yeah. I from know. like our childhood, right? Yep. So yep. you're going to take this, you're going to fill the glass. Half full. There should be some left for you. 
Now let's see if I can figure out what that <laughs> is this time. You have to break out the champagne again. That's good, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We'll just do a shot of that later. That's fair. Awesome. And then you want to top off the remaining with the champagne. Yay. Oh, it's bubbly. Look at That's that. Pretty. That's so pretty. Your guests would be so impressed and think that this was, whoopsie. <laughs> you made a volcano. I did. It's like, it's like a science project at school. Okay, do you see how simple? Oh, I love how I it it's just keeps coming it's the effervescent. up. Effervescent. Effervescent, yes. It's like I said, a science it's project. It's like a snowball. It should be called a creamsicle snowball mimosa. Cheers. Cheers. And this is just very pretty yeah. and aesthetically pleasing for your guests and so simple to make. Yeah. You can pre-make all of you. this and then just top people off with champagne, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are we trying this one? Do you think we should? You try it. I don't know how to get past the cream <laughs> first. That is good. <laughs> I can't do dairy, that's why. And I think you forgot that you can't do dairy either. But Yeah, okay. I can't do dairy either. But we're going to put this over here for you. There we go. The next drink. My reindeer ears have come together. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're making me. The next beverage we are going to make for you. <clears throat> It's going to be a twist on a Moscow mule. It's the holiday mule. Yeah. It's really quite easy to make this beverage also. Very, very easy. It's so, very easy, yes. Yeah. And a lot of times, um, uh, Moscow mules are made in a copper mug. Um, I'll, if you want to make the one in there. Sure. Yeah. I would, I, yes, I would love to. <laughs> and I'll just make it in case you don't. It could be made in a regular cocktail glass. Absolutely. So you can just see what the, it's hard to see what the cocktail looks like in there. So you're going to want to fill the glass with ice. Okay. I'm just going to hand my glass down to you. Yes. So that she can fill it with ice for me because, well, she's, an, she's a pro at the ice thing. Okay. Glass filled with ice. All right. Now, I think the interesting things for this is the garnishes. So at the end, we're going to garnish it with, not now, but a rosemary twig. Hands up. And then these are sugared cranberries. Yes, and how to sugar the cranberries is on the instructions. Yeah, you make like so. a simple syrup, so you heat up like equal amounts of sugar and water. Bring it to a simmer. You don't want it to boil. Um, then you drain your cranberries. And you're going to want to pour that mixture over the cranberries. Awesome. And then you're going to want to set it in the refrigerator overnight. When it, the next morning, take them out, kind of drain them. They'll be tacky. And then you want to roll them in super fine sugar. Nice. And leave them sit like about an hour or two. And then they look like they this. end up very pretty. They are, they are extremely pretty. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay, so we need vodka again. <laughs> vodka. You... Okay, we need... Vodka? Yep. How much? Here's my little measure. An ounce and a half of vodka. I know, Almost. I'm not holding it by the neck again. Oh, yes. I'm yes. sorry. You're I'm right. sorry I wasn't so holding it by the neck. Okay. That's okay. And we need um, cranberry juice. Yep. Just a little. A splash. splash of cranberry juice. Just for the color. Yeah. And then we need ginger beer. Ginger beer. I'll let you go first okay. so I can watch how much you're putting in there. That'll just go it's to the just, top? Yeah. And I top the cup. Nice. Yep. I think I've got this. Or not. Because I'm pouring a lot more beer than you did. So probably not so much. Okay. And then we garnish. Yep, garnish. So now you're going to use your sugared cranberries. Yeah, those are so pretty. Yeah. See how See, pretty See, I kind of wanted are? to use the clear glass. They're beautiful. And then we just put that over there. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking last night, because I had made these, and Tony came home and he had a friend, and these were on the 
<laughs> they were on the stove. And nice. they were like, are these blueberries? <laughs> they were good though, they ate them. And I'm like, oh my oh. God, they're eating all of my garnish. And then this is rosemary. Rosemary twig. And right garnish. there. Yeah. And then you it have. It looks so much more prettier in the copper mug. Oh, that but I love the way that the red shows yeah, you through. Like see, it's it, a holiday it's like meal. A little, it yeah. looks like a little Christmas yeah. um, a little Christmas thing. So, cheers, Jen. Cheers. And cheers to you. Cheers to I hope to we have given you some amazing cocktail, easy, idea, easy, easy yeah. signature yeah. cocktail yeah. ideas for your holiday celebration. Jen is co-owner of The Bottle. Jen, quickly tell them where The Bottle is. The bottle is in uh, Bayview. It's in Milwaukee. It's on uh, 1753 South Kinnikinick. Yep. 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 And um, for more information, you can just stop into the bottle. They always have amazing events going on that are a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Create a Drink for Your Party. No, create is a it life create you. a drink you love. <laughs> create a drink you love. You yes. Um, create a life you love. Until next time. Thank you, and just all of our love goes to you. Happy holidays, everybody. Bye-bye.